What's going on, DMG Clan? Today I'm going to show you how to play Nintendo 3DS on your Asus Rogue Ally using Emulation Station. So let's level up our gaming knowledge and beat World 3. Whee! All right, mobile gamers. So the very first thing we're going to do is navigate to our file manager. You're going to navigate to wherever your ROMs folder is located. If you didn't watch the very first video about how I set up my ROMs, mine is on my external SD card inside my emulation folder inside my ROMs. And then if you go down to N3DS, you'll have to look for the folder called N3DS down here. This is where all of my games are located. So you just copy all of your .3DS files in here, and then all of your games will load into Citra. The next thing you're going to do is navigate to this PC. You're going to navigate to OS, to users, whatever your username is. So if your name is Bob, then you're going to navigate to Bob or Jimmy, or is it going to be Jimmy? Mine is I'm new. Not sure why my name is still I'm new, but that's what my name was way, way back many moons ago. Next, you're going to navigate to EmuDeck. You're going to navigate to Emulation Station DE, navigate to Emulators, navigate to Citra, now you're going to navigate to Citra-QT. You're going to open it up. Now you can see that there's no games in here or anything, which doesn't really matter in the end because we are going to be navigating through Emulation Station. But if you wanted to actually just navigate through Citra Nightly, that's all up to your preference. So you can just double tap on the screen, navigate to wherever your games directory is, which mine is in my emulation, ROMs. Navigate down to N3DS. Just keep going until you find it. Click select this folder and then all of your games will load up in here. The next thing that you're going to do is navigate to emulation at the top. Go to configure, navigate to graphics, change your native resolution to about three times. I think three to four times looks good on most of these games and doesn't look bad at all. The next thing I'm going to do is navigate to my screen layout, which is at the bottom here. It's set to default. I'm going to use large screen. Now, as you saw at the beginning, that's how mine is set up. If you want to change this while you're in game, I can show you that as well. Also, I'm going to leave this swap screen option the way it is. I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to go to advance. I'm going to change my OpenGL to Vulkan. Make sure your drop down is selected at AMD Radeon 740M graphics. Change this checkbox for enable async shader compilation to turn it on and the reason for that is because it helps with any stuttering or anything like that which i've noticed with a lot of games if you don't have that on they do stutter and slows down for a couple seconds but if you turn that on all your shaders and everything will compile in the background which this device can handle audio you don't really need to touch controls this is a major thing that we do need to touch so all we have to do is go down to the bottom right hand side where it says clear all click that. Now you're going to click on auto map. You're going to click OK, and then you're going to press A and all of your buttons will map. The reason why you have to do it this way is because the configuration file didn't save properly through MU deck. And if you do it this way, it will save correctly. Now, of course, you can change this however you want in the future, but for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. The next thing I'm going to show you is our system. This is where you would change your name and stuff. So I'm going to change mine to Mr. D N A. And then my birthday is January and 9th. Now I'm not going to tell you the year and then my country is going to be in Canada. And that's all up to preference. If you want to change any of this stuff, if you don't and don't really care about it that much, then you don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to scroll down until I see Canada and there it is right there. And then I'm going to click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is go to view. I'm going to click on view full screen. Make sure that that full screen option is checked off. I'm going to exit out of Citra, exit out of my file manager, and then I'm going to navigate into emulation station for the very first time. Now I'm going to navigate to Nintendo 3DS, wherever that is located. I'm going to open up a game of choice. I'm going to use New Super Mario Bros. 3DS, and it'll navigate right into Citra without any questions, and we can play right away. And as you can see, I already have some saved data in here. I'm jumping right into the game using my buttons and my controls based off the settings configuration that I've showed you, and we're playing on our Asus Rogue Ally Nintendo 3DS in 2024 using Emu Deck. 
well, using Emulation Station and Citra and Emu Deck. It's kind of a convoluted scenario. Have a nice day, guys. If you want to exit your game, I'm going to show you that here quick. Hold the M1 or M2 button at the back. Click the up arrow. Click FN. Click F5. Click exit, and you'll be back into Emulation Station because there's no hotkey for this emulator yet. See you next time. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content because my MU deck setup guide was actually pretty helpful to about 11,000 of you so far.